Hi, and welcome back to Coffee Talk Tuesday. Um, I have my morning coffee right here. Um, I'm actually drinking espresso from fresh beans that were brought in from Colombia by a couple of our friends that went last week or two weeks ago. And so I was like, make sure you bring me coffee back. And we did, so I'm really grateful for that. Um, so today on today's Coffee Talk, I wanted to talk to you guys about four reasons to buy or to sell your house this fall. If you're thinking about selling on the fence, thinking about it for next year, um, here's four reasons to sell it now this fall. So right now the demand is really strong. Um, in recent buyer traffic reports um, from released from the National Association of Realtors, um, they found that right now the buyer demand is still really strong in the vast majority of markets and especially here in Arizona and Phoenix. As you know, we have troves and troves of people moving in every day. Um, there's some number that's floating around right now between local market experts that's saying um, about 450 people are moving in per day as opposed to just a year and a half ago, it was like 170. So that kind of gives you like the amount or how much buyer demand is still out there, especially here in Phoenix in the, in the Valley. Um, so the second reason is that there is less competition right now. The housing inventory is still low. It's well under six month supply. So um, basically you have increased demand, decreased supply for sellers. It's a great time to sell if you're thinking about selling. Um, and then the third reason is right now, because it's being so competitive with on the buyer side, like buyers are still seeing um, multiple offer situations where they'll, they'll, they we have buyers that won't even look at a house. They're like, hey, I'm moving in from California. I just, I wanna put in a contract for the house right now. That's what the situation is on rentals and for sale homes. So, um, what's happening is buyers because of that competition amongst themselves they're starting to be prepared with all that paperwork and the documentation that's needed to fulfill a contract before even going into going under contract so that means pre-quals or more getting to more like pre-approvals from for their mortgage um so all of that paperwork is just a lot faster typically your average close is 30 to 45 days but now because buyers are prepared ahead of time, you might even see a close that's well under 30 days, especially depending on the title um, and the lender that's being used. Um, and then the fourth reason is that now is a really good time to move up. So if you have a house that is your starter home um, or your non forever home, you were just kind of in the transition period and you, you decided to purchase a home because hey, it's better to, buy than to rent. Um, right now is a really good time to um, sell that starter home or that in the middle home and, and go for that higher end luxury home or your forever home that you wanted because prices are projected to increase um, five to 5.2% over the next year. So that means that if you wait, so if you're selling now and you're buying now, compared to waiting and buying later, you're gonna pay 5% more in the future for a house. So this is a great time to do both, transa both transactions. Um, and then as a bonus, a good time is always a good time depending on your motivation to sell, right? So um, fall is a good time to sell, especially in the valley because, you know, with the weather cooling down, moving out, you don't want all that sweat, back sweat, gross. Yeah, so um, everyone have a great rest of your week. I'm gonna finish my espresso right here. Um, and I will see you guys next Tuesday.